okay, so the first part of the subversion is the major revision. The second is the minor revision. The third is typically maintenance, and the fourth is typically builds. And you don't have to keep track of builds. I think this is better suited for larger projects or written in lower level languages. Anything under one is considered immature or alpha. And alpha obviously doesn't directly pertain to the version, but typically alpha is less than version one and anything usually alpha is not over version one. So your program is at version five and you're only tweaking it now and then, it would then be considered a mature program. You should not directly change the major revision unless you have completely redone the app to the point that you cannot keep track of even the minor revisions. Adjusting the program's version at the maintenance level often varies from developer to developer. I personally increment the maintenance number by one when a function has been changed or a line or a couple of lines of code have been added. When I add a function to the program, I typically add two to five to this number depending on the size and imp implementation of the function. Ten increments to the maintenance or ten tweaks will result in one ma or one minor revision. Once it reaches ten, increase the minor revision by one and reset the maintenance number to zero. Do this for all levels of the subversion. Stages like beta or delta should never directly pertain to the version level. Beta indicates that certain aspects of the program have not received extensive debugging and may be unstable. Larger free programs will have beta versions released so that users can report pro or problems to the developers and the program can quickly move out of its beta stage. Using this system, you will most likely not exceed major revision 10. If your program is close to exceeding this, and you believe it will, you may want to have a threshold set where the program will receive the most changes. And when this occurs, change the name of the program and possibly other elements like the icon, and reset the version to version 1. A typical example of this is appending the name with the word pro or the current year 